Hey guys, for those of you who weren't able to make it a small group last night, I uh, want to let you know one of the things that we're going to be doing together as a group. Uh, for the next 30 days, we're going to be reading through the Gospel books, um, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, reading just three chapters uh, a night or day, um, and that should get us all the way through. Um, I think it's important to read the Bible. Um, it's critical for our spiritual well-being, and what better place to start than to read the the story of Jesus four times. Um, we can learn so much from his ministry uh, as it's his example that we are meant to follow as Christians. Um, for those of you who have started the reading, who were here last night, um, you should have read Matthew 1, 2, and 3 today, um, or you may not have yet done it. Um, but I, I want to point out three things uh, from today's reading that you should really... Uh, uh, no, I think it, it adds a lot to to understanding um, the chapters from today's reading. Uh, the first thing is pay attention to the genealogy of Jesus. Um, it's boring, it seems insignificant, but it's not. Uh, sprinkled in his genealogy full of men are several women. Now each one of those women is um, a victim or a they have a background of sexual uh, sin. Um, either they were raped, they were um, an adulterer, they they were a prostitute. Um, they all have a, a background of sexual sin, and it's fascinating to to think that you know in this way, Matthew's telling us that not only did Jesus come for the sinners, but he came from sinners. That, that um, all of the stuff in our lives, all of the, the stuff in our past is not only um, why Jesus came here to save us, but it's a part of who he is. He, it's not foreign to him. Um, I'm going to post a link to Pastor Judah Smith of the City Church in Seattle, Washington. He has a phenomenal um, message where he goes through these different women. and uh, Definitely worth a watch if you get an hour. Um, of your time that you can spare over the next week. The second thing to notice about Matthew is as a book it's written for a Jewish audience. Um, you'll see that a lot of the things that he talks about are um, they are that he talks about how Jesus fulfills Old Testament prophecies and that's significant because his point to the Jewish reader is that Jesus is the Messiah He's been prophesied in the Old Testament, and he fulfills um, God's promise to the people of Israel. Um, and the third thing for today's reading, in chapter 3, Jesus is baptized. And there's something very significant that happens. Jesus is baptized by uh, John the Baptist, and then God comes, and, and the people hear his voice, said, um, saying, you know, this is my son who I'm well pleased. And uh, this is significant to a Jewish reader because Jesus um, was a rabbi. For him to have any biblical authority, he would have had to have been a rabbi. And rabbis had to be confirmed by two other rabbis. And so this is very symbolic because Jesus is being confirmed or ordained um, by John and he's also being ordained by God and this m gives him the authority to interpret scripture um, without that without that ordination by two rabbis his authority to to talk about the law of Moses and um, to interpret scripture wouldn't have been relevant uh, he could talk about it, but it would all be theory. But as a rabbi, he has clout, which is why when he says that my my yoke is, is easy, my burden is light, it's actually talking about his interpretation of scripture. Um, he's saying that I interpret scripture in a way that's easy for you to live it out. And so um, those are just three things that, that uh, I wanted to point out for you. Um, for today's reading of Matthew. Hope you have a good week, and uh, there will be more of these videos to come as we 
continue reading through the Gospels.